today is February 29th. I think it's, it's the fourth week since I um, since my post sciatic nerve episode. This is the first time I'm a, I'm actually recording at this new gym. Um, in January, I switched a fitness facility due to so many reasons that I was having with my um, old gym. So it's been a bit difficult and uncomfortable for me to record at this new gym. So um, today, since uh, it wasn't that packed, there wasn't a lot of people, I decided to record whatever I was doing. I always have my camera in my bag just in case. So today was one of those days where it wasn't that packed. So um, I started with the foam roller to loosen up some of the leg muscles, especially the left one. Um, by the way, the black thing that I have on my left leg the compression thing is to have sensation on my leg so um, my leg is still is still f you know it's not that great still weak and I'm still having static feelings running through it so uh, sometimes I don't have much sensation on it so, uh, since I'm working on leg today and it's leg day and I put that uh, leg compression on to uh, make sure that I'm feeling um, to have extra sensation on my leg. Um, like I said, I start with the foam roller um, to loosen up some of the muscles. I try to keep the foam roller in the area that uh, I'm feeling that sort of, uh, that I felt that was tight. I move slowly and I try to uh, keep it on the area that I feel that is tight. Once I find that area, I try to keep it there for about 10 to 20 seconds. And um, I put my other leg on top of it, on top of my other leg to actually put more pressure on the area. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, so now I'm moving to another area on my leg.
of those uh, minor movement really helps a lot. stretch out was unable to do it a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't um, when I started doing this I wasn't even going that far I wasn't able to go that far so a little at a time keep doing it and then I was able to go that far stretches is uh, targeting the lower part of the uh, body, which is where my problem is. And of course sciatic. And even though if I didn't have sciatic, uh, that sciatic attack, I will still do some of them because I was gonna, today is leg day, so all of these uh, stretches
started with the ball and then um, now I'm able to do it freely in my own body. And while I was doing that uh, particular movement, I decided to do my own leak. The main thing for this is to keep the core tight and uh, I try to push. so much calories uh, my, uh, and it takes so much energy from here to um, my heart rate uh, watch was beeping so I decided to do a couple more another set There's no reason to keep fighting it. When you see your body is not uh, remaining in a uh, proper uh, position, so I just stop. And this uh, stretch is more for yoga, I don't know what it calls. Uh, a couple weeks ago, when I, mean, I did it with my knees down, I wasn't able to do it where my uh, leg is as. Uh, so my range of motion is uh, increasing, it's getting better. So each time I do some movement, I realize I feel good. Um, I try to uh, take advantage of it. And here I was trying to actually uh, reach my toes, but I felt something on my lower back, so I just stopped. And this thing right there, when I s first started going to that gym and I saw it, I was uh, pretty happy to see it because um, I used it um, when I was in college. I played volleyball 
and I messed up my ankle and the doctor at the school made me do this and it really helped so when I saw it when I uh, started going like in January and I knew I was gonna be using it even though you know that was before I had the sciatic thing going on but um, knowing it's there is actually very helpful it's just uh, make sure the ankle is doing all the uh, mo motion that it's supposed to be able to do and um, if I felt like my leg was uh, pretty strong what I would do is um, there's, uh, either put a finger literally a finger on the wall while I stand on it and try to move it but I'm not there yet so here I have this golf ball it's for under my foot um, for some reason every time I work my leg uh, under my foot is um, sort of feels stiff so to loosen this particular I don't know what the muscle or vein or whatever is under my foot calls but um, this sort of help to loosen up my foot because uh, afterward I would not be able to walk properly it would be so stiff so I have this golf ball in my gym bag every time I uh, do legs or when I feel like uh, my, my foot is uh, kind of stiff I just take the golf ball out take my shoes off and then just uh, put some pressure in the area it really helps so now after I did uh, some of the stretch stretches um, actually I wasn't even planning on doing the abs um, this so I felt pretty good and I said let me try and do what, you know, a couple of it, uh, leg lifts and uh, I just turned the camera and face it to, this, uh, to the woman chair I think it's called woman chair so um, I'm gonna do a couple of leg lifts I wasn't expecting to go um, that high to tell you the truth the main thing is to keep the core tight and uh, try to move lift the leg as far as you can and I decided to do some obliques actually uh, did better than I thought I would be able to do because my lower back is still not that great downstairs um, I, before I do any squats or anything else I decided to do some body weight exercise so I put my back against the wall I fast forward a little bit to see my chest um, I uh, try to hold it as uh, long as I can and uh, I think it was like a minute let's see, a minute 12 seconds so that was in bed. Um, a minute 12.4 seconds. So I was able to hold it. My car was on fire. Um, I tightened my uh, knee brace. This is the second um, set. I, I didn't take that long of a break. I should take um, much time before I start. The minute I sat there, I was feeling it. This time I think I only did 43.4 seconds. So after I did this, I decided to do it without um, leaning against the wall. I think I did uh, two or three sets like that. I try to hold it as long as I can. Okay, 52.7 seconds. This is the second set of that. Did I do? Uh, I don't think I record the second set. Um, I'm doing some uh, stretch again. This is for the inner thighs. And as you can see, I'm, uh, my left hand is on my leg, my quad. Um, it's just for sensation purposes. I 
like I said, my leg, left leg is still feeling a bit weak. There's not that much feeling going on. But at the same time, there's a, that does not prevent me from making me do some uh, ec um, some stretches and what it's supposed to do. So I kept my hand on my quad to just for, fi for feeling purposes. So I will not be able to do that whatsoever. The minute I will put my leg in this position, I will feel it. I said I don't have that much feeling, I'm not saying I don't feel anything at all. It's just that there's like still static running through my legs. So it either blocks certain feelings or I, I, I can't really explain it, but I'm just trying to be more careful. All this stuff I have in my leg is just for feeling purposes and for safety reasons. My ankle, my knees and everything. So now um, I'm doing the adductors and I did not fast forward this because I wanted to show you guys how slow I was going on it and how long I was on it and the weight that I put in there is 130 pounds and I had I did the, the abductors ABD um, the one that the lady behind me is sitting on I did it prior and I did it in the same manner. It may not be this as long as I did here, um, but I did it before um, very slowly. I'm going very, very slowly to make sure the muscles are actually, it's like actually doing the work and the resistance is kept uh, throughout, um, throughout the motion. As you can see, my leg is not going. Sh it, pretty much, I'm not using this for flexibility purposes. I'm just using it for um, to make sure the muscle is doing the work. Um, the setting that I had, I think, is wider than this. But each time my leg is gonna reach the setting, um, I close my leg really quick and, and keep the tension going on. So it's really not for flexibility here, it's mostly for um, control and make sure the muscles are, are doing the work. The inner thighs are doing the work. As you can see through my quad here, um, since I've been going back to the gym, I've seen some, um, how do you say that, gains. Um, a couple weeks ago, um, my legs were, a lot of muscle tones were gone. I was like, oh god damn, I have to work extra hard for it to get them back. But going back to the gym, I actually, um, I didn't need this. I have, I mean, when I'm doing upper body, it's different. But um, for legs, I don't really use that heavy weight. But unfortunately, this was the last thing I was able to record at the gym because the gym starting to get a lot of people and um, like I said I don't feel comfortable recording at that gym and um, I have my camera in my bag every time I go whenever I see there's an opportunity and I just record uh, whatever and this is the first time I actually record at the gym and this is a new gym yeah I'm starting to feel it you can see my face. 
that's probably been maybe I don't know how long. Maybe two, three minutes going at it very slowly. And uh, like I said, the weight is 130. You could time it because I didn't fast forward it at all. As you can see, the ladies behind me, their speed is uh, completely different than me. Very slowly, yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm really feeling it. See me, look at my face, my hand is holding tight on the foot chair. And then I'm about to give up, and I said, okay, let me do it quick now. A little bit faster. So that was pretty much it that I record at the gym. Ninth, I believe, and it's uh, it's a Monday. I just had my uh, workout. I did legs today, and this is my second split of workout since I started uh, since I started going. Since I started going back to the gym after my sciatica nerve incident. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing uh, either chest or back. And then Wednesday I'm going to do legs again. Thursday, either chest or back. Whatever I didn't do on Tuesday, I'll do on, um, on Wednesday. And then Thursday, no, I mean, that'll be Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, no. Monday, leg. Tuesday, chest or back. Okay, let's say chest tomorrow, on, on Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, leg, Thursday, back, Friday, full body. Whatever I did not do uh, for the leg, chest, and, and back, I'll do on, on Friday, and then that'll be the end of that split. And then on Monday, I'm going to start a new split. What I'm going to do is that... I think I put it on one of my, inst I, yeah, I did put it on my Instagram this morning, uh, where I'll do one body part uh, for a week, and then I'll switch back. So that'll be for a month. That's what I'll be doing. So I'm thinking on uh, next week, I'll do legs. No, maybe I'll start with chest first. And then the following week, it will be legs. Uh, and then the following week after it will be back and then um, the last week of that new split will be full body just like when I started going back to the to the gym so pretty much um, I record today for the first time in that new gym not the whole not the entire workout because uh, as I go on and there were a couple people, so I just put the camera away. I didn't want the, for some reason, I still feel uncomfortable recording over there. But I was able to record my uh, warm up, which is pretty much more important than the workout itself because uh, of my sciatica situation. Um, I'm not at 100%, but uh, my leg is absolutely much, much better than two three weeks ago so I'm gonna try to put something uh, to edit it so right now I'm just having a post-workout I uh, I might I'm gonna do some eggs I don't have any uh, meat we didn't go food shopping this week uh, this past weekend so I'm gonna have uh, mixed vegetable I cooked that yesterday and I have rice and I just want um, some eggs. I'm thinking I might make a shake. I'm gonna put as much as I can. So uh, I'm gonna have eggs. And uh, let me get my scale out. Uh, this past couple of weeks, my weight is actually exactly where it's supposed to be. Yesterday when I weigh myself, actually I'll tell you. Last night, I weigh 129 and a half, and I got up this morning. I was, is it, that's not it. No. Yeah. Uh, last night, I weigh 132. That was my last 
weight of the day and this morning I'm 130.5 so it's pretty much where I'm supposed to be um, but my stomach is telling a different story it's like really showing up so um, I'm gonna try to lean my uh, my ab abdominal a bit because it's just a little bit out of control right now uh, the weight is fine where it's supposed to be I'm not complaining about that it's just my abdominal is telling a different story and today actually I'm glad I was able to record it I was able to do some leg lifts on the uh, what's that thing it's the ab machine thing so I record one set of that and I'm gonna try to have three ounce of rice let's see 2.7 nine I'm trying to eat exactly three ounce because uh, if I eat more than that by the end of the day it's gonna be something else so three ounce of uh, white rice I'm gonna bring it back to zero and then for the uh, uh, vegetable I'm gonna put I don't know, I'm just going to eyeball it. I could have all of it right now. It doesn't matter. I really don't care too much about the vegetable. So uh, I decided to have, let's make it even, 5.4 ounce. So I'm going to warm that up. Actually, my eggs is almost ready. 5.4. I have to remember that because I'm going to write it. Shit, <laughs> it's splashed. I don't have, I, for some reason, I don't like my eggs to be scrambled. So 5.4 vegetables. Let me warm that up. Two point nine, three ounce. Two nine. What I'm gonna do while I'm eating, maybe I'll edit the video a bit and uh, put something on my uh, YouTube account. So pretty much. Um, in terms of my sciatica situation, uh, it's getting better. I'm moving more freely. And uh, as I go along, um, for instance, I started uh, when I went back to the gym. I did full body every day for two weeks. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday I rest. And then the following week I do the same thing again. For two weeks I did full body from leg, chest, everything, even forearm. My forearm, I worked everything because for like three or four weeks, I was in bed and I lost a lot of uh, muscle tone and things like that. And uh, the following week, which was last week and this week, um, I do uh, each body part every other day, um, but I try to do legs twice again because of my sciatic situation um so monday i do legs tuesday sometimes i do chest sometimes i do back but it's an upper body exercise and then wednesday i do legs again thursday i do i do either back or chest and then friday um i do whatever um, because i hit everybody part i do whatever that uh, i didn't do for the other days so next week like I said before it's gonna be a new split and I'm gonna try to do uh, I'm gonna try to do chest or back up upper body exercise for one week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday Saturday and Sunday I rest Monday the following week I'm gonna do legs so I'm gonna split the weeks where my legs will be uh, 
will be working, my upper body will be resting, and then the following week again, I'm gonna do an upper body, either back or chest, for one week. So, um, my progress have been absolutely tremendous. And all the stretches that I've done on my previous video that I did at home, I do them at the gym uh, before I work out. And what my body felt like it needed when I went back to the gym um, is to lift something, to make my uh, uh, legs and core strong. And I felt like I needed to lift things which I started very slow. I progressed to it because when I went back to the gym, um, things that I was doing prior the sciatica, I wasn't able to do. I couldn't even lift, uh, uh, I couldn't even squat. That's it. I could not even squat without any weight, just body weight. I could not even do it. So what I did, this is why I did full body when I went back, is to strengthen everything, all the muscles, and legs was absolutely painful. No weight. I didn't do any weight with the legs. After I do the exercises, my quad, hamstring, everything was shaking. Really shaking because it needed, uh, for some reason, the, uh, the nerve pain sort of left a lot of other part of the... Uh, legs numb, joints weren't functioning properly, I couldn't even walk regularly, I had to lift my legs when I walk and again I did a small video explaining that and I felt, I think I'm kind of happy that I did it so I could look back and see how I was uh, when I, um, after the incident. So. You know, I didn't have anyone guiding me to do it because I, I sort of know, I'm not an expert, but because I've been going to the gym for a while, so I sort of know so, a couple of movement that my body needed to help alleviate some of the uh, issues that I was having. So um, if people doesn't have, a, a, how do you call this, physical therapist or a trainer to help them, um, pretty much just think of your regular movement, if your arm, let's say you injure your arm, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just, just an example. You injure your arm and uh, you, you were in a cast, for instance, for like two or three months, and it's getting better, you off off the cast, and you realize some of the movement you cannot do, like lifting your arm, doing this, as long your joint are not messed up, bones are not cracking, they're not, they weren't, um, I mean, now that they fixed, all you have to try to do is the movement that the arms allowed you to do. For instance, your arm should be able to lift up like this and go down like that and move side to side, you know, lateral raises, uh, front raises, you know, adduction, all these just do minor movement. You don't need. You don't really need weight to do those. Uh, uh, your functional movement. Just make sure your arm is able to do the things it should be able to do. Things like that, like this, that, and when you bend down, you should be able to um, do some raises with your arm and things like that. So, if for instance, you just you starting to to uh, get yourself better, don't expect your arm to be able to do this. Little at a time, you lift it. If it's that's the only, uh, if that's the motion or the your range of motion your arm is able to do after an incident, just do it to the uh, to the full capacity. Okay, if it could go only that high, just do it a couple times, and little at a time, you're gonna see your range of motion is getting better. Maybe for one week, you could only go this far. Just make sure you keep on doing it. Keep on doing it until your arm is able to go higher. So that's where I was with my legs. I could not even do calf raises. So I did not start with any weight whatsoever. I felt bad that I wasn't able to record any of those exercises. 
um, you know, I start without any weight. I do little movement at a time. And I realize that after I do some of the calf raises, the back, um, my, uh, my foot, uh, whatever nerve or vein that runs under my foot, it become stiff, extra stiff. So when I, after, when I'm walking home, my leg underneath my, uh, my foot was so hard. I, I literally had to walk like this, lifting my leg, walking back like this. I don't know if the camera is able to show it. Let's put it slightly down. I had to walk like this, coming back from the gym. This is the left leg, back like this. So what I did is that I took a golf ball and after I do my calf raises, I take off my sneakers and then I roll the golf ball under my foot slowly and I try to hit the areas that were so stiff and it helps a lot. So today, since this is the, the first time I was able to record, I did uh, my warm up, I did the foam rolling, um, I did, what else did I did? I did a couple stretches here and there, things like that. So that's it. I'm going to eat. This is my post-workout. Vegetables, eggs for protein. I was going to do some shake, but I think there should be enough. Maybe in two or three hours, I'll do the shake. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.